What is going on guys? This is All Gaming with my review of Naruto chapter 660 and this chapter it actually surprised me not at the ending but at the flashback. So it starts off with Madara still trying to pull out uh, Kurama and Hachibi and of course you know Naruto was not going to let that happen so he actually tries to get out of his Kurama as he called it but he would not go back inside of his body because now that, that Madara, you know, had that chain around him, it was outside of Naruto, and Naruto, you know, what was inside his chakra. And then we have Zetsu, who was saying that that, uh, that that Madara should start with the first tale. But of course, you know, there was no way Gaara was going to let that happen. So when when Madara actually, you know, go, goes for the other uh, first tale, Gaara just made these huge desert hands to look to, like to take hold of the chain, you know, to stop it. And it was nice to see Gaara actually defending the first tale so much. That right there was definitely cool. And so we get our first like flashback here where we see a young Gaara. And we have the first tale where like actually warning him that when he goes to sleep, he, he was going to like take over his body and kill all the humans. So that that right there explains why, you know, Gaara never went to sleep. Like maybe, you know, all this time people thought Gaara was evil like in part one. Maybe he, he never slept, so the uh, to the first tale you know want to take over. Gara actually was, was actually you know pretty good, at, at least from the sound of this. But we actually go back you know even further to this priest that was that was the first tale Gentriki, and you could just see how horrible the people were actually treating him because they like kept him like in prison and just cage, and 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 the guards that were like giving him this meal. They were just so mean to him, but he would he were like rather thankful to him. And so we have uh Shikaku, or you know, the first tale, and, and he would he was like talking to him about, you know, how the people are so horrible that they didn't even call him by his real name anymore, and this priest didn't even care about that. And he would actually he would, he would actually friends with Shikaku, which is why, you know, he, he was able to tame him. But this guy, you know, he had this he had these markings on his hand and he was like talking about this concealed heart and this flashback it, it was actually you know it was pretty deep and I was surprised that you know Shikaku got a flashback now when he actually you know should have got this right in the beginning of Chaputin when Gara faced Diodara this right here would have been perfect timing for this flashback and it definitely you know wouldn't have made Gara that much deep of a character and especially his death, even though he came back, his death at the time, it would have been, you know, so, so much more impactful. But uh, Shikaku was saying that this priest actually actually reminded him of the hermit of the, of the, uh, of the six paths. And the, piece, and, and, the, and the priest, I mean, he, he actually cried because, you know, those words, it, it, they, they were just so touching. But the priest had, uh, had the word receive on his left hand and he had heart. On his right hand, and we all know who we 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 know the person you know who also had this marking is Gara, and the priest was saying that like one day, another person will actually come along, and 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 uh, they they will tell Shikaku to like you know actually befriend him, and that person is Gara because he is fighting so hard right now so that Madara won't get Shikaku, and then we get another flashback where we have Gara you know t telling Shikaku that he actually hated him at first. But because, you know, but, but but thanks to him, he was able to become a Gentriki, and he also met Naruto because of him. So he met his best friend because of a tail beast who he used to hate. But then we have Zetsu, who, who like, who's no longer, like, relevant in the chapter, because he was just, you know, asking Garo why they still protecting Shikaku when they're, like, no longer attacked. But we have Madara actually throw his, uh, his Susanoo blade, which, which was actually, you know, pretty awesome. But we have Chikaku with, with his absolute defense blocking that sword like it's nothing, actually. And then Maro pulls it back. And he actually, you know, I, I believe that he cut his own chain. But he then reattached it to, like, another one so that, you know, so he could pull Chikaku. And so now with this sword going after uh, Gara, I was wondering, you know, how exactly is he controlling it like that? Because it's like he's using telekinesis but maybe it's because it's made up of his own chakra and his own you know and, and his own eye it's possible that you know he could still use it even though his his uh his suicide no is not holding it 
And so, uh, Shigaku was actually, you know, telling Gara that he didn't have to push himself. But Gara actually, he actually came back with, with this, like, with this comeback about he could stay up past his bedtime as his equal. And, and now Shikaku realizes that the, the one that the priest was talking about back then, it was actually Gara after all this time. And so, like, these two characters are getting so much character development. And it's like, to me, I feel like that this should have been happened. Like, it felt like it took too long for, for Gara to, to finally, you know, to develop as a character. And now that Yukaku has come back for the first time since the beginning of the series, he is finally going as a character as well. So, I, I kind of feel like it's it kind of too late for this, but at the same time, you know, it's still necessary. So, at least I'm glad that it's finally happening. But then, then we get to, like, one panel where, where, uh... Where the ATIL, he actually cuts off one of his tentacles. And I'm wondering, like, why is he doing that? But then then I imagine that this, this could be where he, where he like, sealed up B. And, and, and so to protect his life, he, like, sealed him up and part of and part of one of his tails. And then, then he cut it off. Because that right there would, like, definitely make sense. But then at the end of the chapter, for the first time, Naruto actually loses his tail beast. He actually loses uh, Kokuruma. But... But Kuruma actually had a plan. Well, he well he had a favor to ask of Gara, but we, we don't know what that is yet. But the expression like on Naruto's face, it actually it actually looks priceless. But at the same time, I feel bad for the guy. So I'm definitely wondering, you know, what, what's gonna happen next? Because this right here could be a perfect chance for Minato to finally pass on the other half of the chakra. And then of course, whenever Madara is defeated, Naruto will have both halves, and then you know Kuruma will be complete again. At least, you know, that right there is how I think it is going to go. But like I said, did this chapter, it was okay. The flashbacks, they, they were needed, but, you know, at the beginning of the series and not now. But Naruto losing Kurama was actually something that I said in my last review as well, so it wasn't like I was that, that surprised by it. But as always, guys, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And as always, you all take it easy, and I'll see you all next time.